Hi, I'm Dr. Quietek. Hi. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of stuff real fast. It's going to be kind of rapid fire questions because okay. I know you're pretty sick. The nurse told me to help you. I saw you. Your heart's going to go real quick. So mm -hmm. they may be coming in, working on you when we're doing this. But we need to do some questions quickly. So uh, I understand you're vomiting some blood. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, dark blood. Probably like the past three days. It's just kind of like dark color. Like coffee grounds looking brownish. Yeah. Okay. And that started when? Now three few three days, days ago. Okay. And um, it was kind of it was only a couple times, and then it's just kind of picked up more and more. Have you ever done that before? Uh, I had one episode. It wasn't. It was bright red blood, um, and I was admitted. It was something in my esophagus, I guess. Okay. Um, but it was bright red. I haven't had color like this before. Okay. And what kind of uh, stool have you been having? Uh, it's dark. Kind of black? Of, yeah. Okay, and that started when? Today? Yesterday? Uh, yesterday. Okay. I saw that there was a specimen they tested at his blood, so we know okay. what that is. So, uh, for your benefit, you could put in that uh, under the rectal, we do a rectal right now, that the stool was black and he marked everything positive. Um, any shortness of breath or chest pain? Not really, I just kind of feel busy. Okay. Are you having belly pain at all with this? Uh, just when I vomit. Okay. Um, any blood thinners that you're on? No. Do you drink? Uh, yeah, I drink every day. How much do you drink? Uh, pretty much from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. It varies, but a good case a day. Okay. Have you ever been told you had liver problems or pancreas problems? Uh, I'm undergoing testing for cirrhosis right now. Okay. Have you ever gone through uh, stopping to drink and or have any withdrawal issues or? I haven't tried. Okay. Anything around the family? Um, ulcers or anything like that? Or yeah, my dad has uh, peptic ulcers. Have you, have you been diagnosed with any problems, heart problems, lung problems? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Um, anything else that I haven't asked uh, just real quickly that I should know about? Any other symptoms? You mentioned you're lightheaded. You passed out yeah. at all? No. Heart racing? Uh, it feels like it a little bit, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do a quick exam here and see what's going on. Meanwhile, can you get some orders in for me? I'd like a um, liter of saline. I'd like two IV lines, large bore. So if you could put in a nursing note to start to 16 gauge. Also, we're going to do type and cross for two units. And uh, some packed red blood cells. And then lab-wise, I want to get a CBC, ASIC, lipase, liver functions, INR. And we'll get an EKG portable chest x-ray. And I think that's it for right now. Open up real big. Okay. Take a look up. So there's some conjunctival pallor. Go ahead and skip forward point. Deep breaths. Okay. A few basal and rowels. Scattered ronchi. Pretty sore all here. Nothing there, but anything like that. Tachycardia, rate 120. Okay. Hyperactive bowel sounds. Let me know if I hit anything that's tender. Some epigastric tenderness, some right upper quadrant tenderness, firm liver margin, palpable one finger breadth below the right costal margin. There's some changes from chronic venous stasis in the legs with trace pitting edema. All right, we're going to get all that stuff going for you here uh, right now. And um, I'm going to have them give you a couple of medications to help with this. And if you could put in for protonics, 80 milligrams IV, and for your nausea, I'll give you a little bit of Zofran. Okay. So, um, Zofran, 4 milligrams IV. And uh, let's start with that, and then I'll 